So MKBHD posted a video, what's on my Android 2013, and for months and months, probably even more longer than that, I've had people ask me what apps I have on my device and, you know, how I have everything set up and etc. So this is my Note 2, it's on my Cruiser Light case, this is not exactly my daily driver, I just, it's the most customized device I have right now, as far as what you're about to see you may have never seen before or you're one of the few that have uh, my daily driver is actually a HTC one uh, it has a slick wraps case on it but I do also have a cruiser light case around it there is a front but the front was coming off so I took it off and I just kept the back on because it looks pretty freaking awesome with just the back on it the device that I've almost considered using is this Galaxy S3 it's running the CM 10.1 RC4 on it. It's a freaking smooth as butter device with Cyanjima 10.1 on it. And if you have an S3, I highly recommend installing it. As far as tabs, I got my Transport Prime showing me exactly what, ooh, Inception. Showing me what my camera's seeing. That way I can control my focus and aperture, white balance, and I can turn stuff up and down, etc. And then the poor old Epic 4G. But anyways, back to what I was getting to. For several, several months now, probably even longer now, I've had people ask me to do a video on some of the apps I use the most and, you know, how my phone's set up and etc. So here you go. It sounds like tornado sirens are going off here in Kansas City. How wonderful. Anyways, when you turn it on, you got this little thing, you can unlock it, and there you go. I'm using HD widgets. Out of all the clocks and widgets and etc., it's probably the best one. And as you can see, I have this. That's really, really loud. Just one second. It appears that the tornado sirens have ceased and desist. <laughs> okay. A really big reason that I don't typically do videos like this is because I'm not very good at them. <laughs> it's just at least how I feel. So we'll start this off with wow, like literally everything. When I get an email, like every freaking. This, this is all the ones I had readily available. <laughs> ah! This is all the ones I had readily available, and they're like all freaking going off. Anyways, <laughs> Titania Backup, it's an app that lets you back up and restore apps. If you got really, really far in Anger Birds or, um, you know, whatever game you play, like Hill Climb Racing, you can simply back up that app and restore it onto another device. Like, for instance, say... I was, you know, I got really far on a level and I had a crap ton of coins and I had everything maxed out. I could easily just take that and restore it to another device. Like, for instance, on here, I have Hill Climb Racing and that's pretty loud. Sorry. Uh, I will show you how far I've gotten. As you can see right there, level 39. So I could easily go to Titania Backup. And it looks like the sirens are back. I should probably turn on the news and see if we're on our tornado warning. Hill Climb Racing, back up. Hold on it, send latest backup. Data only, add to Dropbox. Go to my TIKBP folder, add. And then that's uploaded. So on this device, I can go to my Dropbox. And then on my Dropbox, and I go to my TIBK, or TIB, it's just a folder I created. And then I'm gonna sort by old, newest to oldest. And then Hill Climb Racing, I press on it. Uh, Titania Backup, just once, data only. And then if I go back to Hill Climb Racing, and I open it up, if I go to this sealet level 39, I was not that far um, if you saw that on HTC One. So I just quickly restored that from one device to another. That's what Titania Backup's used for. Of course, the Play Store, everybody has that on their device. Plume is probably one of the best Twitter apps out there. Like, hands down, I've used all of them. Falcon Pro is nice, but I really, really like Plume and all the features it has to offer. 
of course, the default camera. Now, for the gallery, I do not use the built-in one. I use one called Quick Pick because it is very, very fast, and I can sort things by the date that they were um, added to there. So if I took a screenshot, I always know that my newest screenshots on the top and my oldest ones on the bottom. As you can see, freaking MKBHD has gotten me addicted to this uh, 3D Trucker Road whatever game. And I've been, uh, <laughs> you can see right there, uh, there's this video, um, what's on my Android phone, 2013. Anyway, so yeah, I use Quick Pick for my pictures because it loads them very, very, very quickly. The stock gallery is just slow and terrible and I don't, I don't use it. So some of the apps I'm going to go ahead and run through that some of you may not know about is Dice Player. Dice Player is a very very awesome media player it'll play mkvs it does like hardware acceleration decoding uh like i said 720p mkvs it'll play it beautifully absolutely beautifully it's probably one of the best media players out there uh dirt road trucker 3d like mkbhd posted in this video doodle jump field runners 2 is addicting and you should never ever cheat it ruins the game. <laughs> uh, and Build Runners 2 has some kind of thing where, like, if you do cheat, then your progress does not get saved. So that's that sucks, but I get it. It's cool. Uh, game Guardians, what I, uh, I use three apps mainly to cheat. Game Guardian, Game Killer, and Game CIH. All of them will let you modify your, like, in Hill Climb Racing, I can have unlimited fuel. That's how I got so freaking far on that one map. Uh, you can get, you know, max coins, uh, just, it's insane what you can do. Once you, once you have root and once you've experienced game guardian, game killer and game stage, you just don't want to, ah, you don't want to play games without cheating. It's that addicting. So goo manager helps me update my ROM, update my custom recovery that I use. HD widgets is my clock that you saw in the beginning with the weather and I customize it the way I like it. Go back to my apps real quick. Logman lets me log into my laptop, and if I'm away from home, I can simply log into my laptop. I can start and upload on a video. If there's a certain file that's on my desktop or in my downloads folder or something, I can drag it onto my Dropbox folder, and then on my phone, I can download that file, or I'm on the netbook that I bring with me, I can download on there. So, yeah, mostly I just use it for like once a video is done rendering or once it's exporting with Adobe Premiere Pro, I can leave and then I can log into my computer, see if it's done. If it is done, I can start the upload when I'm not even at home. It's pretty awesome. Laps at Pro is a freaking, oh, the default camera on like CyanogenMod will let you do time lapse, but only for so long. This app will let you do a time lapse for infinity and beyond and it has way more features than the stock one. It's awesome. You should definitely check it out if you're into like doing time lapse. Like I did a time lapse on my sec on my second channel, Josh is nice. Links to it in the description where I drove from Nashville, Tennessee to Kansas City, Missouri, and <laughs> it was pretty cool. Of course, they have Media Fire for Android. I have that for if, if I want to upload files. I use Media Fire for about 99% of my file hosting and sharing with other people because I pay for it and it's like an instant download and there's no waiting and. Uh, for my launcher, I use Nova Launcher. Nova Launcher is freaking awesome, and it's great. It really is. You can customize pretty much everything. You can have like an accordion effect when you switch between pages. One thing I don't like about it is uh, when you're on the, if you're not inside the default TouchWiz thing, when you pull the pin out, it does not remind you that you've removed your S pin, which you can see at the top there. And that's another cool thing about this ROM is when I put my pin in, I'll let you listen to this. Let me put my microphone up here. It's it's just pretty cool. It's a part of the custom ROM. Like I said, I don't know how you would change it without having Jelly Bomb. That that's the thing. I am running this custom ROM called Jelly Bomb by Josh Beach. It's pretty awesome as far as like, uh, I try to go to nightly seeing Tim, but it's just not ready. And then I always find myself going back to this ROM for all of its awesome features. But anyways, 
So let's go back to my apps real quick. I'm just running through all the ones I use the most. Uh, package Buddy, MKBHD did it in this video and I'm, I'm trying it out. I don't have any packages coming right now, but I do, the UPS visits me like every single week. So I'm definitely gonna be trying out Package Buddy and testing it out. Of course, Play Music, if you sign up for Play Music, you can get like a subscription for $8 a month and it, I'd stop paying for Spotify. I canceled that. I mean, $8 a month compared to $10 a month. And plus it's Google. And Google is, you know, <laughs> Google's where it's at, man. I already talked about Plume, Quick Pick. I already talked about that. Root Explorer is amazing, and you can like freaking uh, do anything and everything. It's very advanced. You can create tars. You can create zips. You can unzip stuff. It's just, it's awesome, and you should definitely have that if you have root access. Uh, screen rotation is pretty cool. I can force my phone to go in a certain way, like landscape. Where no matter what I do, and if I can play uh, Beach Buggy Blitz, I can play, um, what's the other app? Uh, Surf, Subway Surfers, and it's all like this in this orientation instead of like straight up and down. So it's pretty cool. And then to get it back, I just go up here and choose, well, come on. I just go to auto and bam, it's back to auto and it my screen, my phone decides what orientation it should be in. So it's called Ultimate Screen Rotation. Screencast is really, really cool. I can actually record what's happening with my phone. Uh, you can, you know, for the benchmark, you press that and you want to see how many frames per second you get. I get about 40 in this device, so I can do screencasts at 30 frames per second and have 10 frames left over approximately. Uh, so if I'm like playing a game that requires a lot of frames, then I'll probably lower that down to like you know, 15 frames per second or something, just so it doesn't stutter and pause real bad. But it's really cool. You, instead of like pointing your camera at your phone, you can record what's happening and it's uh, super high quality. And that's when ultimate screen rotation comes in because you can lock your phone in landscape. You can record your screen and then it's a 1280 by 720p video. So it looks really cool. On the HTC One, it's a 1920 by 1080 video. So pretty cool stuff. Sin Pro is like an app that lets you use Wi-Fi Direct and Beam. So like Samsung has their S Beam stuff built into their phone. Well, if you have an HTC device, you can't send the files back and forth. You can only do basic stuff. This is where that kind of fills the gap. I can send a file via either Wi-Fi Direct, which is faster, or I can use Beam. It's really, really cool. I used it just earlier to transfer um, Clipper Plus, which is an app that, oh, I didn't even show you that. How did I miss that? Clipper Plus. It's an app that lets me monitor my clipboard. It's amazing. It's awesome. And I literally cannot go without it. Okay, so the things that are red are the things that are pinned. So like this one is a WEP code for the laundromat that I go to. I just, if I reset my phone, I can, uh, Clipper has a sync so like you can just, without even having a rooted device, you can sign into your Clipper Plus account and it automatically downloads all of your clippings and all of your clippings across all of your devices are synced. So if you add something to your clipboard, it's there permanently. So like if I go to the laundromat and I reset my phone, I can just simply, you know, download this app, sign into my Clipper Plus account and it automatically puts that on there and I can just press on it and bam, I go to Wi-Fi, I choose the Wi-Fi access point there, and I paste in that. So, 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 so easy and simple to use. Uh, on my Transformer Prime, I can go on this one right here, I can open up Terminal Emulator, paste that, and it installs the latest Torp Recovery. Uh, it's This app is freaking essential. Like, I can copy something nine days ago, and I can just scroll down to the bottom, and I can press on it, and then when I open up Chrome, uh, I can go up here and I can paste and there we go. There's the link that I posted or, or copied like several days ago. So it's Clipper Plus is just like Ditto for Windows. Ditto Clipboard Manager is amazing and I wanted to find something that would monitor my clipboard and it, ever since I updated it and supported syncing, it's just been amazing. I can at any time, like I said, just go, oh, I need to share this link with someone. And then I can go on Plume or whatever and I can paste that link because it's now on my clipboard. 
amazing literally amazing i love it you should definitely download clipper there's a free version that does not sync your stuff uh we're getting to the end here i promise speed view mkbhd talked about that and i'm definitely going to be trying that out for testing out your speedometer and seeing how fast you're moving subway surfers oh my god this is one of those games where you once you use game ch game guardian or game killer all three of them do the same thing sometimes certain ones don't work with certain games like maybe game ch won't hack this game but another one will so i haven't hacked this one as you can see but if i go over here to my htc1 sorry about my microphone if i go to my htc1 and i pull up subway surfers right here I have all the freaking stuff in the world I need. I'm going to crash real quick and show you the little thing. See the save me thing? I have like oh, over a million easily. I could just keep pressing that all I want. And it's, it's awesome. <laughs> so I haven't hacked it on here just yet. I can easily, like I did with Hill Climb Racing, I could send my latest backup to this device. Or I could just hack it on here. Whatever I need to do. Super SU is my way of obtaining root. Thanks to Chainfire. These are all the apps I've granted root access. And Google Voice. I use Google Voice. I have since like 2009 when they first launched the service. And I haven't been happier. Uh, whether I have service on my device. Because right, as of right now, my phone number is actually on my HTC One. I can still receive messages on here. If I forget my phone, I used to have a day job and I would, if I forgot my phone at home, I could just log on to my Gmail or my Google Voice account on, you know, the web browser and I could look at all my missed calls. I could look at all my text messages. I could pick one out. I could reply to it. I could listen to voicemails. I could listen to calls that I've recorded because Google Voice lets you record phone calls. It states both parties, this call's now been recorded. So it's not like you and the person you're talking to very well know that your calls are being recorded and you can listen to it on the computer. You can download it. You can email it. You can share it, whatever you need to do. So definitely, definitely check out Google Voice, especially if you have Sprint, ever since Sprint integrated with them. When I first got my Android device, I was like, heck yeah, I can keep using my Google Voice number without going on to googlevoice.com or google.com slash voice, typing in the number I want to call. <laughs> Real quick, uh, I had Vonage and I was late on my bill and they wouldn't let me make any phone calls. So I learned very quickly that if I went to google.com slash voice, if I typed the number I wanted to call, and then I hit Vonage, like for the number that I have it forwarded to, it would ring my Vonage phone and Vonage would see it as an incoming call. And I'd go, heck yeah. <laughs> Vonage saw it as an incoming call, even though I was choosing what number to call and I could, you know, use my Vonage phone until they finally cut me off and and I went to Magic Jack. <laughs> and the Magic Jack, I added my Magic Jack number to my Google Voice account and everybody kept calling my Google Voice number. And then when I went to Sprint, everybody could call my Google Voice number and it would ring my Sprint phone. I love Google Voice. You should definitely, definitely check it out if you have a problem with, you know, having Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. You can give everybody one number and all of your devices all ring. You can set which of the devices ring. It's just, it's awesome. It's amazing. You should definitely try it out. Before I make this video any longer, there's a lot more apps I could go through. I have so many. I will show you real quick. I have so many freaking apps that I have backed up over the years and I could every now and then I find myself going, ooh, I really want Ski Safari. That game, hacked. <laughs> I have all the infinite coins in the world that I want. Uh, <laughs> just go on here and just pick whatever I want and go, hmm, jelly ball, jelly defense, PayPal, photo bucket, all these apps, reckless getaway, reckless racing. I can just go restore app plus data. And now the apps on my phone and I, I can pick up right where I left off at. I, I love to continue backup. I love having root. Every single device I have is rooted and I wouldn't have it any other way. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Links to MQBHD's video will be in the description below. You should definitely check it out. The video is officially over. This message is for MKBHD. I try to make reviews on phones. I try to do comparisons. I'm not very good at it. I don't like doing them because I suck at them and I get a lot of negative feedback. Some, well, 
Some videos get pretty bad negative feedback because my reviews are not nearly as good as yours. And I'll post a review of a phone or a comparison between two phones and then you'll post one. And honestly, after watching yours, I feel like removing mine from YouTube and just linking to yours. Your videos are absolutely flawless. I'm not kissing ass at all. I just, I honestly feel that there's nobody out there that can do a review better than you. That's my honest opinion, hands down. So yeah, that's it. Not sure if you're still listening or watching, but I thought I'd just go ahead and get that out there. I'm done.